What is a sewer sentry and what can it do for you? The sewer sentry is a simple device for manhole ring and covers. The sewer sentry device stops storm water from going in the vent hole simply by creating a raised hole higher than the surface of the manhole. It lets the manhole vent without creating extra inflow. A rubber gasket glued to the ring prevents 90% of water entering between the ring and the cover. The mushroom shape of the sewer sentry, just 5 eighths of an inch high, creates only a small bump in the road. And yes, it is DOTD approved. The water flowing over the manhole in the road, sidewalk or grass, will flow around the vent hole instead of in it. The sewer sentry dramatically reduces inflow during rainstorms. According to a study made by Nina Foundry Company, a leading manufacturer of manhole ring and covers, this 24-inch manhole with no pick holes is taking on an average of 12 gallons per minute during rainstorms. You probably would not notice this without the red dye, but as you can see, the red-colored water is not leaving the manhole cover. With the sewer sentry kit installed, the water is now flowing over the manhole cover instead of in the sewer system where it has to be pumped and processed except what overflows. The water is now going to the stormwater system where it belongs. Oh yeah, it's even able to vent sewer gas during a rainstorm. This manhole has three inches of water over the cover due to a ditch surcharged. What you're seeing is burping of air due to the large amount of water entering the manhole cover. According to the Nina Foundry study, this one is taking on about 20 gallons per minute. The sewer sentry in this situation can be equipped with a pipe extension to keep the water from entering the one inch vent hole. As you can see, no more burping and still able to vent. This manhole had two pick holes. We plugged the one on the right and drilled through the other. This manhole with the two pick holes according to the Nina Foundry study takes on an average of 16 gallons per minute. The manholes located in grass that are flush with the ground can have the same problems as manholes in asphalt or concrete, maybe worse due to the grass slowing down the flow of the water running over them. Manholes above ground like this one, according to the Nina Foundry study, with just splashing rain, still take on an average of a half gallon per minute. This can all add up in a sewer system, creating more electricity cost, wear and tear of pumps, and more treatment cost not to mention SSOs and flooding of homes and businesses. What is a sewer sentry and what can it do for you? The sewer sentry reduces SSOs and flooding of homes and businesses. This system has been smoke tested, CCTV'd, has had manhole inspection and repairs, and the wet well cleaned for maximum holding capacity. As you can see, this work done had no effect. It has been overflowing on most rain events for over 10 years. After sewer sentries were installed on all 41 manholes on this system at a low cost of $9,225, overflows were dramatically reduced by 99%. Now, this station even cycles during rain events. This is another example of overflows during rainstorms. Notice the drainage ditch in the background. This was just a normal rainstorm. After sewer sentries were installed on the entire system, even in heavier rainstorms, overflows do not occur. Notice the ditch running three times more than before, showing evidence of a much stronger rainstorm. What is a sewer sentry and what can it do for you? The sewer sentry reduces sewer gas deterioration in your system by allowing every manhole to breathe in or out. This manhole was rusted shut before with high parts per million of hydrogen sulfide gas. Now it's able to breathe out. After the sewer sentries were installed in this system, the parts per million is now 0.5. This manhole is breathing in, putting oxygen into the system. The hydrogen sulfide parts per million is now at zero. This manhole is also breathing in with zero parts per million. The system of 32 manholes on two miles of 30-inch truck main is now able to breathe, creating very little hydrogen sulfide gas. Oh yeah, zero complaints from the public about the smell of the pump station when they used to get seven to eight per year before the sewer sentries were installed. Manhole ring and covers design has not changed in 100 years. We've been walking past this problem all this time. This manhole with smoke coming out is venting but it's also creating inflow during rainstorms. 
If a manhole is not smoking, it's probably letting sewer gas build up to high parts per million. Why are we paying attention to the little smoke coming out of the ground beside this manhole and ignoring the large amount of smoke coming out of the ring and cover? Because that is a manhole cover and there's nothing you can do. Oh yes there is, it's called the sewer sentry. Why is this 3 inch pump set up and locked to this brand new pump station? The answer from the contractor, it's been raining. If the new system has been air tested and all the services are capped, where is the water coming from that fills the entire system after a rainstorm? The only place it could be possibly coming from is the manholes. Why are we always blaming old pipe in the ground for inflow problems during rainstorms? How fast can storm water reach a cracked pipe six feet in the ground? So where is the water coming from that surcharges your system so rapidly during rainstorms? Why are we always blaming service pipes, cleanouts, roof drains, etc., etc.? Smoke testing will show these problems. When they're fixed, now what? Oh yeah, during smoke testing, did you notice the smoke coming out of the manhole covers? The basic design of manhole covers has not been changed in over 100 years. If you check the history of sewer systems, stormwater entering the system creating overflows have always been the norm. Could part of the problem be the design of the manhole covers, which has been with us all this time? We need bigger pump stations to take care of extra water due to rainstorms. We need holding tanks to contain extra water during rainstorms to stop overflows. We need to replace smaller pipes with larger pipes to give more holding capacity. Okay, great. This extra stormwater still has to be pumped and processed. Why don't we try fixing the problem instead of treating the symptoms? The problem has always been with us. Either we didn't know there's a problem with manhole covers or no one has come up with a solution to solve both inflow and gas problems at the same time. There are products on the market that solve inflow problems with manhole lids. This bolt-on lid solves the problem. But do they create gas problems as a result of their design? Do they allow the system to breathe in and out? The sewer sentry dramatically reduces inflow due to manholes during rainstorms and at the same time lets your system vent, which greatly increases the life of the entire system. The sewer sentry has other benefits, such as creating a pick hole and the rubber gasket not allowing the manhole lid to rust shut, which creates easier accessibility. The low cost of the sewer sentry kit is worth this by itself. Low cost to buy and install. Reduces short-term cost. Reduces long-term costs. Reduces headaches. Great benefits. Long-lasting results. So what are you waiting on? My name is Terry Cox. I'm the district manager for West Washtenaw Sewer District in Washtenaw Parish, Louisiana. Uh, I've been the manager for 12 years. Uh, we have over 750 miles of main trunk line, not counting force main. We have 53 lift stations, and uh, we have 8,500 residential hookups and 450 commercial hookups. About 30% of our system is over 50 years old, and from there it varies 20, 10, 5, and some brand new. Uh, Another 30% of our system is running through swamps and lowland areas, so we've had problems there forever. Our treatment costs have gone from about $37,000 a month on average to around $95,000 a month on average due to a Sparta reuse project that the city of West Monroe treats the wastewater to drinking water quality to give to the paper mill. Every gallon that we give them is one less they pull out of the Sparta. Other than that, SSOs, the flooding of houses, smell, and gas deterioration in our manholes and our lift station was tremendous problems to us. We contracted with JBAR to find, inspect, repair, and install the sewer sentries uh, to fight our inflow problem. We have flow meters, and when it rained, it was immediate. It wasn't infiltration in the ground, it was going straight in our manholes and different lines. We were able to isolate two particular areas that we have fought for 10 years. We've smoke tested, we've TV'd it, we made whatever repairs we could, we upgraded the lift stations, we uh, enlarged force mains to no avail. 
JBAR came in and simply by putting in the sewer sentry system, this is kind of what it looks like above ground. But what they do with their rubber, the glue that they use, and the way that it's in installed, which anybody can install it, I don't have the manpower to do it. It made that big a difference. My rough estimate is when it's raining, it's saving us probably $10,000 a month on treatment cost. And by the way, those two areas of isolation, we had one guy, his hobby was to sit on his porch with his cell phone in hand on speed dial when it ran over. DEQ, EPA, the assistant DA, and of course called us last. Well, he's had to find a new hobby now because it hadn't run back over again. I know it's hard to wrap your hands around that much water going through your manholes, but if you can isolate the air in your system, you'll be sold on it too. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Thank you.